Hello! In the previous lessons, we have created a sales plan for SBS trading headquarters and remote office, set sale prices, and determine discount conditions. Now let's move on to determining sales rules, creating a quotation, and concluding an agreement with a customer. We are going to use the CRM and marketing and sales subsystems. In our company, hoverboats are sold from the Munich warehouse under the terms of self-pickup and from the warehouse in Berlin, which has delivery vehicles. Self-pickup is still possible. A sale price is determined by the price list, which we created in the previous lesson. When purchasing 10 or more Lux hoverboats, a client gets a 3% discount. Standard sales conditions presuppose 100% prepayment, that is, we get a client request and prepare goods for shipment, but ship them once we have received the payment. Shipment term is within two days. Sales are only made based on contracts where rules of mutual settlements are determined. Within the 1C ERP system, these conditions are listed in standard agreements with customers. We need to create two agreements, one for Munich and one for Berlin. As mentioned before, an agreement is a framework document which describes rules of sales with a specific partner or all partners under certain conditions. Let's now create a standard agreement with customers, which determines rules of sales from the central warehouse. These functions refer to the CRM and marketing subsystem. Open the following menu – CRM and marketing, sales master data, standard agreements with customers. Let's create a new agreement. Name it Munich Sales Agreement. Currently, our company doesn't use segmentation of products and clients. This process will be introduced later. Therefore, we leave the fields empty. Specify the company as PS Trading. Go to the Sales Conditions tab. Specify that mutual settlement rules are always included in contracts. Currency is Euro. Price type is Hoverboat's wholesale price. That is not included. The Payment Schedule field offers a list of schedules previously created in the database. The use of Payment Schedule templates is one of the possible ways to set up payment terms. We can enable manual setup of payment schedules, but this is less convenient. The choice of options is in the menu Master Data and Settings. Master Data and Sections, Sales, Wholesale, Scroll Down, Payment Term and Procedure. Let's create a new payment schedule template, which is 100% prepayment. Go to the menu CRM and Marketing, Sales Master Data, Payment Schedules. Press Create. Set the name SPS Prepayment 100%. Press Add in the table. Three options are available. Advance. Before provision. In this case, the products are only purchased, manufactured or reserved at the warehouse only after the payment has been made by the client. Prepayment before shipment. The product is prepaid for the customer's order, but shipment is carried out only after the payment has been made by the client. And credit after shipment. We choose prepayment before shipment and specify 100% of payments. If necessary, you can add several stages of payment, advance plus credit. Press save and close and return to the agreement where you choose SPS prepayment 100% in the payment schedule field. Then choose our central warehouse in the warehouse field. Now we need to set a discount. Go to the tab Discounts Markups under this agreement. So far the field is empty. Press Show All. The maximum folder appears where we have created a discount in the previous lesson. Find it. Then set the beginning of the month as the discount validity date and change the status to Valid. 1C ERP once again asks for the permission to apply the discount to the agreement. Press Apply. Press Save and Close. The agreement has been created. Now we suggest that you create a similar agreement for the Berlin Warehouse. Let's now switch to pre-sale preparations. A sales manager of the Berlin branch sends our price list to a potential local customer or the Hoverboat shop, receives a response and draws up a quotation. 
In the next lesson, we're going to conclude a framework contract for the supply of hover boats and get an order from this client. Within the 1C ERP system, it's possible to set up email automations with attachments, which will make the interaction with clients faster and easier. This system functions will be shown in the next lessons. For now, let's suppose that a sales manager has received a response from a customer and is now forming a quotation. The customer wants to buy basic hoverboat 1010 10 pieces and basic hoverboat 1020 15 pieces. The quotation to customer's document reflects a formal offer for the client to conclude a deal, including all necessary conditions. The use of this offer helps to register the process of preliminary interaction with customers and evaluate its effectiveness. Open the menu Sales – Wholesale – Quotations to Customers. Press Create. Then we choose SBS Trading as the company, Have Boat Shop as the customer, and Berlin Sales Agreement as the agreement. On the Goods tab, press Add and add product lines, which we choose from the list. Specify the amount as well. Price and total have been calculated automatically based on the price list which we denoted in the agreement. The payment schedule has been added on the additional information tab. Specify two days as the delivery period. Press post and close. The quotation is now complete. Well done!